Sevilla is a city that captivates visitors with its rich history, vibrant culture, and stunning architecture. It's no wonder that this enchanting city is among the most visited destinations in Spain. From its ancient Moorish roots to its lively modern-day culture, Sevilla offers a diverse range of experiences for travelers. Whether you're interested in history, art, architecture, food, or music, Sevilla has something for everyone. Join Vucation as we discover some of the best things to do in Sevilla, Spain. Explore the Real Alcazar Palace Discover the opulence of Spanish royalty when you visit the Real Alcazar Palace and Gardens in Sevilla. While not as globally renowned as the British monarchy, the Spanish monarchy has a rich history that can be experienced through a visit to this stunning palace. Originally built in the 7th century, the palace has been influenced by various architectural and cultural styles over the centuries, resulting in a unique mudejar design that blends Muslim and Christian artistry. Visitors can explore the palace's luxurious rooms, including the Hall of Ambassadors and the Patio of the Maidens, on their own or through an audio tour. For access to the upper royal quarters, a guided tour is required. The intricate details of the palace's architecture, including the stunning ceiling designs, should not be missed. And make sure to take in the surrounding gardens, which are also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. With so much to see and experience, the Real Alcazar is definitely worth a visit. Spend some time at the Parque de Maria Luisa. Parque de Maria Luisa is a beautiful public park along the Guadalquivir River. It was created in 1914 from part of the gardens of the San Telmo Palace, which were donated to the city by Princess Maria Luisa. The park features many monuments and buildings that were constructed for the 1929 World's Fair, such as the Plaza de España, and several museums. You can also enjoy a walk, a bike ride, or a horse-drawn carriage tour through the lush gardens designed by French landscaper Nicolas Forestier. You can also visit some of the historic sites within the park, such as the Costurero de la Reina, the Queen's Sewing Box, a castle-like structure that was used as a sewing retreat by King Alfonso XII's wife. In addition, the Pabellón Mudejar houses the Museum of Arts and Traditions of Sevilla. At the same time, the Pabellón de Renacimiento hosts the Archaeological Museum of Sevilla. The park is great for relaxing, admiring nature, and learning about Sevilla's culture and history. See the famous Sevilla Cathedral The Sevilla Cathedral is a sight to behold, and it's no wonder that it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. As the largest Gothic cathedral in the world, the cathedral took over a century to construct. Visitors to the cathedral are greeted with an awe-inspiring view of countless spires and arches framing sparkling stained-glass windows. The grandeur of the cathedral continues inside, with an impressive 42-meter-high central nave, 80 side chapels, and the Retablo Mayor, a hand-carved altarpiece, depicting 45 scenes from the life of Christ. Climbing the Giralda Tower offers visitors far-reaching views of the city, while exploring the cathedral's floors, ceilings, and every nook and cranny is a treat in itself. The tomb of Christopher Columbus can also be found within the cathedral, and visitors may even spot a stuffed crocodile, a gift from the Sultan of Egypt. A visit to the Sevilla Cathedral is an unforgettable experience and should not be rushed. Walk the Plaza de España one of Sevilla's most stunning and iconic landmarks is the Plaza de España. This plaza palace was built for the 1929 Ibero-American Expo. The plaza covers 50,000 square meters inside the Maria Luisa Park and showcases a blend of regionalism architecture with elements of Baroque, Renaissance, and Moorish styles. The plaza features beautiful fountains, canals, bridges, and mosaic-tiled alcoves representing the four ancient kingdoms and 48 provinces of Spain. Visitors can enjoy a relaxing walk around the plaza, a boat ride along the canal, or a carriage ride through the square. In addition to housing various government buildings today, the plaza has served as a filming location for a number of motion pictures and TV programs, including Game of Thrones, Star Wars Attack of the Clones, and Lawrence of Arabia. The Plaza de España is a must-see attraction for anyone who wants to experience Sevilla's culture, art, and beauty. See a flamenco show 
Watching a flamenco performance is an experience not to be missed when in Sevilla, particularly if you're looking for romantic and entertaining things to do at night. This dance form originated in Andalusia, southern Spain, and reflects the gypsy Gitanos heritage, with influences from Indian, Arabic, and Spanish cultures. The flamenco performance typically consists of three elements, the song, the guitar, and the dance. A performer may begin by standing still and then slowly increasing the beat by clapping and stamping her feet. As the song progresses, she'll start dancing, showcasing intricate steps that depend on the particular dance's tradition. In Sevilla, there are various venues to catch a flamenco performance. You can choose from touristy packages that include food and bar services or more serious performances that emphasize tradition, history, and form. The Flamenco Dance Museum is a recommended venue offering a more intimate and up-close experience. Experience Sevilla's Tapas Culture Aside from being famous for its flamenco dancing and architecture, Sevilla is also known for its tapas culture. There are hundreds of tapas bars in the city, making it an integral part of life in Sevilla. Among them, El Riconcillo claims to be the oldest tapas bar in Sevilla, serving some of the best traditional tapas in town. The tavern was first opened in 1670 and slowly expanded to its current shape and size by 1858. Owned by the De Rueda family since 1858, El Rinconcillo has preserved many of the original aspects of the building, including a mahogany bar, marble tabletops, and Arabic brick walls dating back over 300 years. Employees at El Rinconcillo continue the ritual of writing customer orders in chalk on the mahogany bar. The menu focuses on local Andalusian recipes and ingredients, classic Sevilla tapas such as Iberian jamón, spinach with chickpeas, and various croquettes. The dish is also paired with regional wines, chilled beer, and sherries. Visit Mercado de Triana A visit to the Mercado de Triana is one of the highlights of Sevilla. This market is located on the Guadalquivir River banks in the Triana district, which some locals consider a separate city from Sevilla. The market offers a variety of products such as fresh fruits and vegetables, local cheeses and cured meats, seafood, and more. You can buy some ingredients to prepare your own meals and save money while supporting local businesses. You can also enjoy some tapas or a full lunch at one of the restaurants in the market, watch a flamenco show at a theater, or learn how to cook Spanish dishes at a cooking school. Don't miss the chance to explore the Castillo de San Jorge, an ancient fortress under the market. There is a free museum that tells you about its history and role as an Inquisition tribunal. The Mercado de Triana opens every day, but has shorter hours on Sundays. Most shops and stalls close by 2 or 3 p.m., but some restaurants stay open longer. Enter the beautiful Basilica de la Macarena. The Macarena neighborhood is home to a Catholic temple that's sure to impress visitors. Although the white and gold church appears small from the outside, the ornate interiors are nothing short of breathtaking. Adorned with frescoes on the walls and ceiling, as well as gold accents that shimmer in the light, the basilica leaves a lasting impression on all who enter. In fact, some visitors have even preferred this basilica to the massive cathedral in the city. A noteworthy feature of the church is the golden altar that holds the Virgin of Hope, also known as La Macarena. This famous statue of a weeping Virgin Mary holds great significance in the city's Semana Santa celebrations, and many visitors cite it as their favorite aspect of the church. Additionally, a small museum behind the altar showcases the two parade floats used in Semana Santa's Good Friday celebration each year, on which Mary and Jesus ride. Enjoy a Guadalquivir River Cruise Sevilla is a city with a rich history that is closely linked to the Guadalquivir River, which flows through its center. The river is the only navigable one in Spain and has been a vital route for trade and exploration since ancient times. As a result, many visitors enjoy taking a boat tour along the river to admire Sevilla's landmarks from a different perspective. Some of the sights you can see on a river cruise include the Torre del Oro, a 13th century tower that once guarded the port, the Plaza de Toros de la Real Maestranza, one of the oldest bull rings in Spain, and the bridges of Triana and San Telmo, which connect Sevilla with its lively neighborhoods. You can also learn more about Sevilla's culture and history through audio guides available in various languages, such as Spanish and English. 
visit the Metropole Parasol. Located in the northwest corner of El Centro, the Metropole Parasol is a significant landmark in Sevilla. This modern attraction was built in 2011, and it's regarded as the world's most significant wooden structure. You won't miss this towering structure if you're in Plaza de la Encarnacion. It is a social gathering place that houses a farmer's market, restaurants, an archaeological museum, rooftop walkways, and an open-air public square. Its distinctive design, a lattice structure resembling a mushroom, has made it a local favorite. For a fee of 5 euros, visitors can ride the elevator to the wooden structure, walk along the elevated paths, and enjoy a complimentary drink at Sevilla Gastropole. We recommend paying for access to the top as the views are beautiful both day and night. The walkways are open daily, starting at 9.30 a.m. and closing at 11 p.m. from Sunday to Thursday and at 11.30 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. Enjoy unparalleled views from the bell tower. For an impressive panoramic view of Sevilla, tourists are recommended to visit La Giralda, the bell tower of the Sevilla Cathedral. The bell tower stands 104.1 meters or 342 feet tall and is a beloved landmark in Sevilla. Originally, it was the minaret for the Great Mosque of Sevilla, built in the 12th century using local bricks and marble from other monuments. After the Sevilla Cathedral was constructed, Christians converted the minaret into a bell tower and added a belfry in the 16th century in Renaissance style. The tower's name, La Giralda, comes from the rotating sculpture on top, added in 1568 and known as the Giraldillo, or weather vane. Ascending the tower, visitors will have to climb 34 ramps with some steps at the end. While the climb is not as challenging as the other bell towers in Europe, it's still an uphill journey and many visitors take breaks along the way. Take the Sevilla Hop-On Hop-Off bus tour. One of the best ways to explore Sevilla's attractions is by taking a Hop-On Hop-Off bus tour. This option allows you to customize your itinerary and visit the places that interest you the most. There are 14 stops located throughout the city that offer a Hop-On Hop-Off service. These stops include popular landmarks like Plaza de España, Triana, and Isla Magica. You can also enjoy panoramic views of Sevilla's architecture and listen to an audio guide in 16 different languages. The Hop-On Hop-Off bus tour is ideal for travelers who have limited time or want to avoid walking long distances. You can choose between a 24-hour or a 48-hour ticket, which also includes free walking tours and entry or discounts to various attractions, such as the Pabellón de la Navegación. The tour starts at the Paseo de Colón near the Plaza de Toros Real Maestranza. It's a great way to get an overview of Sevilla's historic core and discover its charm. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever visited Sevilla? If so, did we miss any of your favorites? And if not, do you think you'll ever get there? Let us know in the comments section below.